Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY, I'll be recreating this large wall art mirror in matching sconces that I found on Pinterest. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. For my first DIY, I'll be starting off with the large wall art mirror and I'll be using one sheet of foam board that I purchased from Walmart. Next, I'll be using this metallic foil gold backsplash that comes with an interesting pattern and I love the texture. Next, I'll be covering half of the foam board with the metallic gold backsplash. Once I was done, I'll cut it in half using my box cutter and my long ruler to keep a straight line. Once I was done, I'll take my long ruler and I'll place it on the edge of the foam board and I'll take my marker and start placing markings 4 inches apart. Next I'll take my long ruler and box cutter and I'll place my ruler where I place my markings and I'll start cutting long grooves straight down 4 inches wide strips. Once I was done, I'll take each strip and repeat the process with placing 4 inch markings and then I'll take my box cutter and start cutting them. I'll end up having 4x4 four four squares. I cut out a total of 20. Next I took the other half of the foam board and I covered it with gold mirror reflection paper. I repeated all the same cutting steps and cut out 20 3 by 3 inches. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms link below. Next I'll be using this 12 inch round mirror and this 16 inch cake board. For the remainder of this DIY I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next I took my mirror and glued it on top of my cake board. Next, I'll take my texture cutouts and I'll start placing them around the mirror a half inch in. Because I needed the first cutouts to be elevated a little, I took a piece of foam board, cut it out and glued it on the back side and then I'll be gluing it on the cardboard. I'll be repeating the same steps on each cutout. Next, I'll be repeating the same steps in between the spaces with the non-textured cutouts. I'll be placing them and gluing them in place in an angle.
I'll be repeating the same steps with the same cutouts, working my way out, and this will create a large wall mirror decor. The placement of each cutout will be totally up to you. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Just have fun with it. For the last row, I'll be gluing them underneath. For the rest of the cutouts, I'll be gluing them to fill in the empty spaces. To hang my wall decor, I'll be using a poster board hook that is flexible. And to give lighting for my wall decor, I'll be using fairy lights and all I did was just place them going around and hold them down by using clear tape. Next, I'll be working on the wall sconces and I took a piece of foam board, cut it to size, covered it with the same texture paper and I also took a long strip of foam board, cut it to size and here are the size that I cut them into. Next, I'll be taking my pieces and I'll be gluing them in the center creating a square arch. Next, I'll be using five of each size and I'll start gluing them on top of the arch. And again, there's no right or wrong way to glue these. The design is totally up to you. I left empty spaces for light and reflection. I also took foam board, cut it to size, covered them with the gold paper, and then I'll be gluing them in place. And to hang the wall decor, I'll be using a butterfly clip and all I did was remove the clips. Next, I'll take the wall sconce, flip it on the back side facing up, and then I'll glue on the clip by using hot glue. And I'll elevate it with a pencil so the hook would not be flat towards the base. I repeated the same steps and I made two. 
And for lighting, I used one remote LED touch light and I glued it inside on each. Next, I'll be using metallic gold beaded necklaces. And all I did was to take them apart, which is snap them off the connectors. Next, I'll take each one and I'll fold it in half and then I'll cut them in half using my scissors. Next, I'll take each bead and I'll be gluing it on the lower part from the inside and all I did was fold the beads in half, apply hot glue and glue them inside. I repeated the same steps on both. And here is the finished looks. I really do love the way the wall mirror decor turned out in the wall sconces, but unfortunately the camera is not doing it any justice. All three pieces are very different and unique, and it's something that you rarely will see in someone's home. And let's not forget the beautiful lighting they'll bring into that special room in your home. would like to wish you and your loved ones a safe and happy new years and stay tuned for more diys coming your way in 2022 now don't forget i post new diy videos every week like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't comment if you wish turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos i'll see you on my next diy upload see you next year